my name is Krista Gauz and I am the Senior Manager of Animal Programs here at the National Aviary. We want to thank you guys so much for joining us today on Giving Tuesday. Your gift today is going to support the care of over 500 birds and other animals that reside here, including, of course, this adorable little guy, our, one of three Linnaeus two-toed sloths that resides here. This particular one's name is Valentino. Now, Valentino is joining us today because he is going to be painting a beautiful portrait using animal safe paints. And the reason that he is such, so good at being able to make these paintings is, as you look, sloths are really good at being able to grasp things and hold. You can see they're able to hang effortlessly upside down. So what we were able to do is take a paintbrush that looks very much like the branches that they would potentially be climbing on. We were able to teach him to hold it and create wonderful artwork that we can then help use to raise money for conservation efforts for the rainforest habitat that sloths would call home. So Valentino is eight years old. He was actually born on October 31st, so he is a Halloween baby. He is our only resident artist though. He's kind of the sloth that has a little bit of the creative side behind him, good. We do have two other two-toed sloths that reside here. We have Wookie, who you guys can come and visit in our tropical rainforest habitat. And we also have Vivian. Vivian is a, another ambassador sloth, which means that she gets to go out and give people up close visits if you were to choose to book a sloth encounter here at the National Aviary. So I mentioned that they do have that ability to hang and they'll spend most of their lives upside down but they do only go to the bathroom about once a week and that's the only time that they'll kind of be right side up, so to speak. The reason that they only go to the bathroom about once a week is that their diet consists mainly of the leaves, buds, and shoots off of trees. So a sloth actually has four chambers to its stomach and the food that you see him eat here today can take his body an entire month to fully process. So their metabolism is really slow. And of course you hear the word slow and that's something that we naturally think about when we see a sloth. They're considered to be the slowest moving land mammal and they only go about an average of six feet per minute. Their fur is incredible. It actually starts out that chocolate brown color that you see on the top of his head. And as they get a little bit older, they turn kind of this lighter brown coloration and that fur will grow and it actually grows the opposite way of people. So one of the things you'll notice is it kind of comes to a point down at the bottom. Now that's really important for an animal like a sloth because they live in a rainforest, which is a hot and humid climate. The natural sunlight that they get in the canopy plus the slow move movements plus the rainfall and the moisture, they will actually grow algae on their fur. So if you were to travel into South America, into those rainforests, you might notice the sloths there will have a little bit of a greenish tinge to them. So the rainforest habitat that the sloth lives in does face many challenges. A big one is deforestation. So they are losing a lot of habitats, which can cause a lot of problems for not just sloths, but all of the other animals that call that habitat home. Many of the parrot species that would coexist with sloths in the wild are actually endangered and potentially facing extinction. So you guys can do some pretty simple things to help. You guys can recycle. You can reduce some of the products that you use that might come from the rainforest. And you can support conservation organizations like the National Aviary by donating to us today on Giving Tuesday.